Hi, I'm Craig Aston from Aston's Music and we're starting our YouTube channel with our first episode today on how we make our fretboards. We're asked how we do and, and make different parts of our scarbox guitars, um, fretting and fretboards is one of the questions that comes up all the time in regards to specific tools that, that are needed. And we typically have three different methods to be able to make the pre-slotted fretboards that you can buy from us. and next pre um, fretted next that we supply and also our next for our cigar, bo cigar box guitars but specifically we've run a couple of fretboards that are going out to customers today uh, there's three different methods as i said and tools that we can use we've got our handsaw um for for fretting so again as with all our tools are to a specific width to make sure it's at that width for the fret slots to make sure they go in sit nicely sit deep enough and they're obviously nice and tight within there so when you're dressing them they're not going to shift about or, or pop out so we don't really use our hand saw no more um, we're more using our cnc or we'll use our table saw um, we've made lots and lots and lots of guitars and fretboards with the uh, with our hand saw so great start a piece of kit you can get fret jigs to be able to make sure you can keep that nice smooth cut within there we've got a stopping block on there to make sure we don't cut too deep when and we get a consistent depth with our fret slots um i know there's another method where you can just put a piece of tape along that will obviously keep, give you that gauge as as well so uh, onto the next tool that we use, and um, this is one that we use a lot, is our table saw blade. So our table saw blade, again, is designed to be a specific width. Uh, what this will do as well alongside of our jigs that we use. So we've got jigs here that um, this is 25 and a half inch and 25 inch that we'll be able to lay on top of our fretboard and we hold that together with um, masking tape and, and CA glue. And then we're able to run that through the, the table saw and we'll show you a video how we do, do that shortly. Um, specific blades are designed for UK table saws. Um, we do have, uh, oddly enough, an, an American um, fret saw blade. This one's from Stu, Stu Mac. Um, with a, an American armor blade, um, but make sure that you're getting the correct UK um, armor size. This is a 30 mil armor size for the table saw that, that we that we use. Uh, and I say I'll show you video how how, how we do that. Uh, lastly, what we use as well as our CNC machine. So we'll have again CNC router bits that will be thin enough to be able to cut those fret saw saw blades and i'll show you a video of how we do that sh shortly as well and how they cut the, the fret slots precisely so at the moment we currently use the table saw or we'll use the cnc depending on speed that we need or the fret scale that that's required if it's something that we don't have a um if we don't have a template for we can just run that on the cnc run that in the, in the software and the can cam software that we use and we can just produce a, a, a fretboard at any scale as well uh, and then for also when we're doing our fretboards also inlays so typically we can use our drill press and we'll use a six mil drill press bit um, forcing a bit and that will be able to give us that position and um dot and leg that, that we need and then we'll able to put the dot and legs in there and obviously we'll file them send them send them down so we'll be able to create dot and legs with it within our fretboards or typically we'll move over to the cnc which will give us more precise work or if we're doing something a bit more bespoke that might be some writing or imagery that we're also in lane within the within the fretboard um but let's show you a couple of videos of how we create our, our fretboards at Aston's Music. So here we've got our CNC set up and we've set up the uh, jig for it so we know it's completely straight and we've also done the design for the scale length that we've done in our CAD software before and then we'll just run that program and it will just keep doing those fret slots we can take it out fit another fretboard in ready to go.
So next up we've got our table saw and what we'll do here is set up our fretboard onto our jig and just keep running that fret slots up and back and then moving on to the next point as we've got a pin that sits within there and we can just keep running those fretboards across. Well, thanks for watching our first YouTube video. Um, you've seen how we produce our fretboards at Aston's Music. You can visit our website, order the pre-fret slotted fretboards, pre-fretted necks from ourselves, or get those blanks and have a go, go yourself. Um, it's not as, as hard as you think, as long as you've got the right tools. Um, subscribe to our channel and we'll be posting more videos out soon.